Wetlands are a very unique habitat that actually has areas that are aquatic underwater and terrestrial on land. A lot of the time that's going to change throughout the year and in many places that's going to depend on which season it is. For example, in Florida, our wetlands are a lot more aquatic during the summer months when we get a lot more rain versus the winter months when we typically get a lot less rain. Plants and animals that live in wetland habitats need to learn to survive with the changing seasons and sometimes that may mean following the water. American alligators live in wetlands throughout the southeastern United States and like all animals surviving in their habitats, alligators have special adaptations to survive in their wetland habitats. They have webbed feet to help them propel themselves through the water. All along their back they have little bony plates that help protect them from other animals that may want to eat them. They have a clear eyelid. It's like a built-in mask that goes over their eye and helps them see while they're underwater. When they're underwater, when they come up to the surface, you'll usually only see their nostrils, their eyes, and their ears. And that allows them to be great ambush predators. They could hunt without being seen. And very likely their most important adaptation is one that lots of other animals need, and that's their alligator hole. During the dry season in Florida, the alligators use their strong legs and their tail and their snouts to dig down an area that water will sit. And not only do the alligators get their water, but fish come and birds come and lots of things alligators like to eat, but they can't eat them all. A lot of those other animals survive. In fact, they only survive because the American alligator digs that hole. That's why they're called a keystone species. A keystone species is a very important species because lots of other species rely on them. Many birds, turtles, small mammals, even large mammals. Fish, amphibians like frogs all rely on these alligators to dig that hole during the dry season in Florida so they can survive, so they can get their food and water and space and air. Now there's lots of turtles found in wetland habitats all throughout the world. Here we have Bowser, our common snapping turtle, and they're found in wetlands all throughout the United States, even in Canada. And to live in those wetland habitats, they have to have special adaptations to do so. He's showing you his nice long neck that he uses to hunt. He's got wonderful camouflage shell, and if I get him close enough to the camera there without getting the camera bit, you can see that his head is wonderfully camouflaged, and even his eyes have a unique pattern to them to allow them to blend in. Now, camouflage means exactly that, to blend into your environment, to not be seen by animals you may want to hunt, like a fish that Bowser wants to hunt, or maybe something that wants to hunt Bowser, like an alligator. Or when he's smaller, the fish would actually eat Bowser, which is why he has a lighter belly, like the light sky, compared to a dark top, like the dark lake. They have camouflage from both directions. Think for a second of an animal that's an aquatic animal, spends its time in water. A lot of them have that same type of camouflage as well, from the bottom light and from the top dark. It's an adaptation to survive in aquatic habitats. And Bowser has that too. On the very tip of his nose or where the nostrils are to help him reach up towards the surface and breathe the air, because remember, all animals need air, and it is a turtle, does not have the special adaptation that fish do, where they have gills to help breathe the air out of the water. Now, they do have an adaptation, and they could actually breathe through their, their rear end. It's something called a cloaca, and the cloaca is where they reproduce, they mate, it's also where they go to the bathroom. And this also helps them, helps them to breathe. Not such a, a breath of fresh air, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. 
Let's head on over to our next habitat. Forest habitats are a type of terrestrial habitat that is dominated by trees. They have the most trees of any habitat. Thanks so much for watching our video on wetland habitats. Watch out for our video on forest habitats coming out next pretty soon here. We'll meet some animals like boa constrictors and tigers and learn about some other adaptations that animals have, such as being arboreal, living up in the trees, or how animals like deer avoid getting eaten by tigers in these habitats. Still have grasslands to come after that and a pretty cool conclusion following. Thanks everyone for watching.